Hi there, I'm Dre, the host and founder of the Dragon Network. For today's video, I want to talk about three acronyms that are commonly heard in interoperability projects or document exchange projects that can cause quite a bit of confusion for people who are just starting out on those projects or people that are new to the healthcare IT industry. So those are CCD, CDA, and CCDA. All three acronyms relate to document exchange and interoperability, most commonly seen for things like Commonwealth, Carry Quality, the eHealth Exchange, or to meet the requirements of the promoting interoperability measures in the United States. They are used around the world in a lot of different countries, in a lot of different uh, exchange projects, so it's certainly not restricted to the US, but that is where the terms seem to come up the most frequently. So let's start with CDA. CDA stands for Clinical Document Architecture, developed by Health Level 7 or HL7. The CDA standard is really a base structure or a base standard for the exchange of documents that contain clinical information between two entities. So the standard is fairly broad. It is meant to be all-encompassing for a number of different use cases and a number of different document types. It's really just that base layer of architecture that's there. The CDA standard is based on six guiding principles, and those are persistence, which means the clinical document needs to continue to exist in an unaltered state for a time period that is defined by local regulatory requirements. So there is a distinct scope of persistence that is related to the documents, and they need to maintain their structure and integrity and content for that length of time. Stewardship, which means that the document is maintained by the organization that was entrusted with its care. So the individual organization that is the custodian of the document or the custodian of the information, if you will, is the one who must maintain its stewardship. CDA documents must also have potential for authentication. And this means that the document in its assembled form needs to have the potential for legal authentication. It doesn't mean that it has to be a legally authenticated document. It just means that in the event that a legal authentication is required, it would meet that requirement. The fourth one is context. And this really means that the clinical document has to establish the context for the information that is contained within that document. So they have to be related to one another and the document itself has to provide contextual information for the clinical data that is being housed in the document. The next one is wholeness. This means that the authentication of the document applies to the whole document and not to just portions of the document. So the documents are structured in such a way that there's different sections, but the wholeness under CDA requires that the authentication and the other principles need to apply to the whole thing. And last but certainly not least is one that's very important and that is that the document needs to be human readable. So all documents that follow CDA standards have a similar type of header and this is where you're going to find the context for the document. Again, the context needs to relate to the contents of the document. You're going to find information on the subject or the patient in the document, the authors, as well as the custodians of that document. So the CDA standard allows for both structured and unstructured data. The structured data is XML data, and the unstructured data is data that is housed within a non-XML body, but it is encoded. So that is the basics behind CDA. So now let's talk about CCDA. So CCDA stands for Consolidated Clinical Document Architecture. And what this really means is the Health Level 7 group, or HL7, worked in conjunction with some other bodies that had been working on implementation guides for CDAs. So primarily the IHE and the Health Information Technology Standards Panel. So these three got together and they created a set of implementation guides or instructional documents that were to help the industry understand how to create specific types of CDA documents for their exchange purposes. So again, the CDA standard that was created is very broad. It's meant to encompass a lot of different use cases. It is meant to represent and be applicable to numerous different document types. So the consolidated CDA is really a set of templates that is a directed instruction on particular documents to exchange. 
So some of these CCDA documents are history and physical, operative notes, discharge summaries, things like that. So they're instructions specifically on how to put together and create and implement on the CDA standard. So I know this might sound confusing, but just remember we're just looking at the acronyms right now. If we want to dive into what's in the particular implementation guides, we can maybe talk about that later. So the last acronym that we'll touch on is CCD, which is Continuity of Care Document. So the CCD is one of the documents that is within the consolidated CDA template group. So we have the clinical document architecture, which describes the very broad and far reaching multiple use case standard. And that contains essentially all of the different segments and all of the different sections that can go in these. And that follows those six principles that I mentioned earlier. Then you have the CCDA, which is the consolidated clinical document architecture that drills down to 12 different document templates and really describes what sections, what the header needs to look like, and how you put those particular documents together so that they're meaningful. And then the CCD is one of the document templates that's part of those CCDA 12. So there is an implementation guide specifically on how to create a continuity of care document, what sections need to be included, it, what data would go in it, what coding standards are in there, and all of that stuff. So I hope that this gives you a good idea of what that layering is. When we hear CCD, CCDA, and CDA, it can get super confusing, especially if people are having all of those acronyms thrown around in the exact same conversation. And I know it took me a little while to figure out exactly what we were talking about and how they all relate to each other. I'm hoping that this is helpful for you. If you do have questions about the relationship between those acronyms, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll try to uh, break it down a little bit further. But other than that, that's all I have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit that like button if you like the content that I've been producing. I will see you again next week. Have a great day.